Hey everyone, just another video on how to do timesheets on your mobile phone. And for the purposes of this video, on my phone I'm logged in as what is known as a basic user, so limited permissions. If you did need to turn more or less functions on or off, uh, simply ask your boss and they can do that from their computer. So a couple of different methods I'll show you. The first is just by going to timesheets right at the top. Select the relevant day, of course, that you are working on. So I'm just going to click on plus on Tuesday there. Then select the job, the task, or internal job you are working on. Now I'm going to go select job at the top. Now I know I'm working on the uh, Jones family build there today, so I'll tap on that. And then my boss has actually set up uh, my, my job here, so I have to select the task that I was working on as well, so I'm going to go with Site Clearance. Now this next screen obviously asks for how much time you did do on this job. So you've got Start and End Time there, I'll set the Start Time first. Then of course enter the End Time there. And then down here where um, it says Enter Details of the Time Sheet Entry, this is typically where you'd enter notes. So you can tap in there and uh, type into your phone if you need to, or hit the microphone button there to actually um, do speech to text if your phone's capable. So I'll tap the microphone, and uh, anything that I say will automatically be populated into the, um, the notes field, which is really handy if you've got some extensive notes to make. Simply after you've done your notes, hit save right up the top, and that will save that timesheet entry for us. So that's one method. Now back to the menu, you can also add time directly against jobs or your scheduled tasks from this area. So if I tap on jobs, select the relevant job, then you'll see right down the bottom of, of my screen now there is start timer. And that, um, that starts a stopwatch, so it starts logging time automatically. Great for things like driving, um, or you know, if you've got very short-term jobs. If you're doing a full day, sometimes a manual timesheet entry is, is better for you. There's also the option to do a manual timesheet entry from here by clicking on the Actions button, and you'll see Add Timesheet Entry right at the top. Now from here, it'll take me down the same pathway as uh, the first method I showed you. Hopefully it's been useful, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Cheers.